Hey dads, are you looking for a good handheld vacuum? We have one and my mom has one and we both really like it. So I wanna to talk to you guys about that today. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're into that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button. But today I wanna to talk to you guys about this guy right here. This is the Dyson DC-59, and it is great. We use this uh, mainly in the kitchen area, unless we're going through and cleaning out even more of the house because the kids have made a mess. And uh, it's just really easy to like grab, do it, and go. There's no cord that you have to wind up or anything. The, the attachments are really easy to take on and off, and you can make it shorter. You can keep the, the uh, stick on there and keep it long. Um, very easy to use the, the bin here. So uh, the way it works, this down here is a battery, right there. This is what fires it on. You can hear the suction in there. You see the tornado action that Cyclone always talks about. Um, and then to empty the bin, all you do is press, I'm not gonna do it because there's stuff in there, but you press down on this little red latch right there. This thing opens up and then if you press down again, the whole container comes off. Now to be able to take off the attachments, you simply press this button here and slide up. And there's a bunch of different, this is a uh, hardwood floor or a you know flat surface type of flooring uh, attachment that my mom got uh, for her house. She really likes it. Uh, she prefers this one over the, the spinny brush one because it's kind of made more for flat, hard surfaces. Uh, again, you get a nice, uh, what is that, three feet or so? Maybe four feet of tube here. To be able to, to uh, get to. There's a filter on the top. Probably want to clean that every now and again. You just simply pull it out, clean it up. One thing I notice is whenever I, I sometimes I empty my container outside and I go to shake it back to forth like that to make sure I get all the stuff out of there, the filter will start falling out just I guess due to the motion. I noticed that on mine. It's not really doing it right now. I don't know if we have a gasket missing or something but uh works really well now they do have a max button on the back here so if you want to do like a deep clean in a certain area that gets a whole lot of traffic you can it's a little bit louder it adds a little bit more more power to the vacuum turn it this way um so you turn it on and you press max and then press it again to turn it off um, my mom, this is my mom's vacuum, she used Max a lot, like pretty much all the time, uh, just because it did deeper clean is what she was <laughs> thinking. Um, but the, uh, the Max button is causing her battery to drain out, so it's not using as much. So she called the people at Dyson and told them about this, and they said, oh, just don't use the Max because um, uh, it's, it's draining your battery too much. So. And now she just uses it on regular mode and it works just fine. She just probably had a little bit of uh, battery loss out of her battery. She probably need to replace that. I don't know when. Uh, we've had this thing for, gosh, like three years now probably. And we've never had to replace a battery. It's a lithium ion battery. If you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Also, if you need a battery for your Dyson, I'll link up that down below. I found a bunch of different kind of batteries online. Uh, on Amazon that you can check out, read some of the other reviews. I'll go through and read some of the reviews of some of the other batteries and I'll pick out the best ones for you guys uh, if you guys want to, if you need a new battery. There's also a bunch of different attachments that you can get. I'll link up all the ones that we have and the ones that look kind of neat down in the description below. There's like a smaller roller one that's great for curtains because this thing's super light, super duper light. I mean, you can easily, uh, uh, vacuum curtains like this if you want to keep the wand on there. I wish I had, uh, you know what, there's a scale right here. I don't know how accurate it is. Yeah, if I had to guess, this is like five pounds. It's super duper light. Um, and it works really, really well. I like it. Fairly easy to clean because this whole container part right here pops off if you want it to. I think that's actually how you change the battery. And so you can kind of get in there and clean the whole container. Uh, the Cyclone does get really dirty, so you might want to, uh, you know, brush that off, take a brush to it or something like that to get clean off all the dirt. And I'd suggest doing that outside so that the dust goes flying in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it's, it's fairly easy to, uh, to keep clean. Uh, same thing with the Dyson. Uh, the head, the one that spins. I don't know if my mom... Oh yeah, look, hang on. She's got some attachments down here. Let me show you all those. Oh, she's got a different one than we do, I think. Yeah, this is her rolly brush. Uh, ours is bigger. It's chunkier. I don't know why that is. And uh, you can see, I think, all of this part right here. Maybe because she got a specialized hardwood floor one. But whenever it comes to, uh, and her screws are different too. Ours, it's like the penny, you put a coin in there and turn, put a coin in there and turn, and it pops off like this right here. That's what I'm looking for. And it pops off really easily so you can take out the brush and they give you a little tool that you slide down there and it takes all the hair and all the stuff out of there. So it's super easy to clean. Um, I'm assuming, this is the curtain one that I was talking about. Uh, I'm assuming that this does kind of the same thing. I did know, just notice that there's a little hole right here. I don't know what that's for. Maybe to hang it or... Any of you guys know? Let me know down in the comments below if y'all know what that little, this little nougat right here is for. That's interesting. Uh, but that's that. And then also, let's get into mounting it and charging it. It's very easy to mount. Let me show you guys what we have here. Let me take the Dyson off. And two screws. You want to screw it into a stud. One right here, one right here. And then you will have this cord that drapes down and then you plug it in uh, wherever you like it. One thing I like about this is that it has these on here. These are the attachments that comes with it. They're very easy to use, to get in and out. I can do it with one hand very easily. And uh, it just makes a nice place to keep these little attachments so that they're not getting lost and scattered all over the place. So I really like that. This is your charging port right here. So the way this works is you take your Dyson and you put the butt in, lean it up, plug it in, lean it back. Super easy. I did that one-handed. So uh, can't recommend the, the Dyson handhelds enough. They are great vacuum. Great for those easy cleanups if you have like a mess that you just need to clean up real quick. Maybe you spilled some flour or something. Or if you want to take a deep dive, you can, you can you know get into a rug. You can put it on that max mode and get that rug really good. And it's just the suction works really well on there. So like I said, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can read other people's reviews, get a better idea of what you're looking at buying here. Uh, if you guys want more videos from us, there's more right there on the screen. I'd love it if you watched more of our videos. Right here in the middle is where you can click that subscribe button, that little circle right there. If you guys have a product that you guys want us to review here on Dad Reviews, let me know down in the comments below what it is and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't smashed that thumbs up button, I would definitely appreciate that and dad out.